When I was young, my father told me, he looked me dead in the eye and said, Son, you're not gonna make it drawing little pictures, trying to seem cool. You have to be a doctor, make me proud. Now look at me. But I don't blame him though, like, I mean, I understand. <laughs> All right, so we've all worked at like professional studios. We're a bunch of animation professionals here. We've all worked for Netflix, DreamWorks. Even as industry professionals, we start our own personal projects, we're super hyped, and then we suddenly just stop and we lose motivation immediately. It happens to all of us, right? Yeah. Except for Shauna. Yeah, except for Shauna. Except for Shauna, yeah, well, we're gonna talk about that. Here's how a bunch of pro artists keep their motivation, but how do we start losing interest in the first place? For me, the thing that helps me, one, not get lost, but also stay motivated, is very clear goals and steps. I used to be like, like a mechanical engineer. So the first thing you do as an engineer is oh, let me lay out step by step what it needs to do. Now let me knock it down. So I, I take a step back and I go, okay, let me say my entire story in like two, three sentences. Like Lion King, a young prince, he is told he's gonna be king and get trained by his father. His uncle kills his dad and like makes him think it's his fault. He runs away. He's ashamed. He just lives a frivolous life. Eventually an old friend comes back and tries to convince him to return. Then an old mentor comes back and tries to convince him to return. Return. Then the ghost of his father convinces him to return. He finally returns and he fights his uncle to take over the king. That's where I start. Can I say my whole movie or my whole show in a sentence? If you can't do that in a couple of sentences, you shouldn't jump into outline. I think my lack of interest in my projects is usually just the fact that I don't think I'm ever good enough. I doubt myself so much. The problem I have is when I start working, I'm like, oh, I don't have time. And I start thinking about money and then I start thinking about, oh, Oh, maybe this won't work as a, as a film now. I should make it a comic. And now I'm conflicted and now I'm like, oh, I, I will do it again. If the bar of excellence is here, like this is the greatest thing that could, add, like the perfect film, right? And maybe your ability is about here, everything. So let me put my bar on something that's actually attainable. And I can hit that and I can feel good that I hit that. Otherwise, you're just gonna feel guilty. You're gonna feel like shit because you're not hitting that perfection bar. And really, you need to get shit done. When you finish something, the, your ability bar goes up yeah. and now you can move that goal a little higher and then you can hit that your ability bar goes up even higher and before you know it you're like yes. oh yeah. i'm like hitting yeah. some good there are times when I, I hit a mark and I'm like, every drawing's gotta be good. And I just recently kind of got over that, like as of late, like in teaching, doing like the story sprint, for instance, like it made me start using Toon Boom a lot more when I was drawing things. And I realized that it was more fun to draw a little bit messy and concentrate more on just the idea and getting the idea across. So I've been leaning more into that aspect of evaluating my work from a more reasonable I, I, standpoint, you know? Yeah, I try, I try not to compare myself to any greats just because their, their story, every great person I've looked up to, their story is like almost similar to mine. Like if you look at their trajectory to the top, they had to go through some pretty harsh shit. There's a lot of like people that I look up to that had to go through some pretty like, you know, some shit that you're not supposed to get through as an artist, you know? So I try not to compare myself to them just because I know my situation their situation is like, you know, completely different. And your journey to the top is going to be way different than theirs. It could be even crazier than theirs, you know what I mean? For my motivation is just to do something out of the norm. Like, yeah. often do something really crazy. Like what? I'm not, you know, I'm not going to say it, but like, <laughs> just do something just very outside of you that scares you a little. I don't look at art do in order to get my inspiration. I just get mad. Oh, oh. Yeah, I get mad. Like, because I really want to draw, but then when I get like, sometimes I'm not in the mood to draw. Yeah. So I'm just like, okay, no, stop doing that because you're beating yourself up. Yeah. So I'll end up doing something in the world. Go the fuck outside. Because I mean, I have that problem mm -hmm. where I'm just sitting here and I'm like, Definitely. I'll be on the Korean shit where I'm like YouTubing it for like 17 hours straight and I'm like fuck I ain't did shit let me write something and I'll start writing and then I'll notice like I'm just like oh, how could I write after all this shit I just watched on TV you know for some people that could deplete your motivation in a way you know you'd be like well damn what could I do so what I try to do is get my ass up off the damn computer get off my couch and go outside try to work out skate and experience what yeah. the fuck's going on outside I mostly get inspired by like the artists that I'm checking out on these social media platforms like Instagram YouTube, like I was on YouTube all day and night 
yesterday, you know, from like six in the evening until like two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Just looking at artwork, you know, not even drawing really. Easy to but do. That's mostly what I do. I'm like being inspired by photographers and illustrators, whoever is artistic or creative out there. That keeps me inspired all, all the time. Get your ideas out there fast. Don't try to sit there and noodle on something and make it 100% perfect and take a billion weeks on it, right? When you get home, try to just sit down for a minute, 60 seconds to five minutes to do a little bit of work each day. It's typically the starting is the difficult part. And once you start doing it, then you're going to get into that flow or you're not. You're going to just do five minutes and then that's okay that you've done your five minutes for the day. But that can often turn to five minutes to 30 minutes to two or three hours. But at least you've gotten, uh, you know, a little bit of work done that day. I personally lose a lot of motivation whenever I do that. I put a lot of work into it, maybe a week or months of work into something. And then I'm like, this is crap because I didn't think about this beforehand. So all of that hard work that I did, now I don't even feel like working on it because it's all just like thrown out so the window. That's, is that basically? That, to me, that's the problem of getting lost. I would kind of get lost in the woods, noodling on like one part of creation. Yeah. Is this working? Yeah. Am I hitting like an inciting incident? Am I hitting a clear, you know, goal that the character's after? It, is the character active? And then I'll do a detailed outline. It's a lot of yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and then I have these clear goals. I'm like, I'm trying to hit this goal. And where students go wrong with most of motivation is they just start with the render first and then it's none of that and then they're like oh but it doesn't it just sucks it doesn't make any sense because you didn't do that blueprint yeah. basically yeah that's for me the biggest thing about oh i'm hyped i got this thing done it's good yeah. all right now i'm excited i'm gonna hop into boards yeah, yeah. And now then, i'm boarding and i'm yeah. like yeah and then the board's done i'm like oh this no. Yeah. <laughs> Let me relate that to boarding. Um, Chase, you remember that time I turned in those boards to you and it was all finished and you scrapped the whole thing and I had to board everything again. <laughs> and I felt like shit. I should have taken the time and done the blueprint Tom did. Was it that vicious? I don't know if I remember, but damn, I feel bad now. You don't remember? It was a, the, the first time you directed you, you put too much effort into early on. The drawing. Like cleaning, yeah, and the drawings and over animating things and it's like yeah you, but that's not that's not like not uh propelling the story or the plot or motive the cuts aren't motivated you know things like that and stuff like that but uh you know you're you're savage though what did that do to you your motivation i mean i always wanted to learn so i was exhausted but i saw it like oh okay i'm gonna learn stuff now you know i'm scrap that and go back again because the way i look at myself is i don't know anything so i'm trying to always learn every time any chance i get that's the only way i get better so when he told me that and i had to scrap those birds i wanted to save them and keep it so i could look at it but that is i just deleted, deleted the whole thing and went over again which is what rad is saying you know start from the skeleton like the yeah. very tiny stuff and build on that i was hyped to learn from it and i realized my boards get better you know doing that now take a step back and i look at the story it's not working i'm like oh throw this away and i don't feel any pain because it's not looking that great already and i start all over again I have to be extremely forgiving of myself because I know I'm hard on myself too. So I know that part. But um, when you're comparing yourself to other people and where, what they've done, because you know, we all, we have Instagram. So we're like looking at other people's work and we're like, oh, I should be drawing. But if you don't really feel like drawing, if you can't really like put uh, your images or your vision onto the paper, you should allow yourself that and do something else. Write, design, make yeah. 3D stuff, whatever. One thing though I, that I try to tell all my students is that the art, for one, most everybody's art just sucks, 100%. It's horrible. <laughs> all of our art here sucks really bad. But storytelling, that is something that we can all do professionally because especially if it comes from, you know, within, that bar that I feel like you can hit, still set yourself up for success, right? But everybody's got that ability to tell their own stories. I don't know about your students, but my students are killing it right now. I go to class and I am so excited to go to class because their stories are so much more fresh and amazing than the, the crap that I'm seeing on Netflix. We watched our pitches for our story class. I was just like, I would watch all these shows. These are yeah. so good. I would, put, I would personally put FIP money into yeah. like the majority of the stuff that uh, my students are working on. A lot of the students are really crazy crazy story that I've never seen. The students are definitely huge motivators because their fucking work is immaculate. They're doing shit. They're already finished with scripts and shit. I'm like, bro, you already doing shit. I ain't even doing it yet. It's simply the best motivation I can get right now to the students. 
Shout out to them. Sometimes, like, uh, you get so creative that you don't know how to construct creatively the words in order to express your thought, you know? You just know how to create it. You don't know how to verbalize your creative ideas. Like Kanye West, for instance. His interviews, people didn't know what the hell he was talking about when he was talking about his, uh, his clothing line, right? And then he created a billion-dollar clothing line. And I was like, okay, well, maybe we can't we should listen to Kanye West. Maybe it's a slight, slight bit of a genius. For motivation-wise, Kanye is actually a really good example because this is actually a really big deal to me. I feel like I have really good ideas and I can see what's happening in my head and then I go to a professional or I go to a loved one. This is this is where it really hurts me is when I go to somebody that I love and I say, I got this crazy idea, let me tell you about it. And then I tell them what's happening scene for scene and then after that they go, yeah, it's pretty cool. And I'm like, D you don't understand like what, what I just said. Like that could be a full on feature film or a TV show. And they're like, yeah, it's cool, it's cool. And I'm like, oh, that hurts. It's cool, like that hurts me. And then I'm thinking, is it? It, that wasn't a good idea. That wasn't a good idea. And then I'm like, I don't do it anymore. You gotta know the right people to share with. Yeah. You, 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 you really have to do. Be a little careful. You, you, you really. I think that's the biggest point that I can say for motivation for me is because some people are low in their life and they don't want anybody to be above them. They want you to suffer with them and sit where they are in life. And that's not everybody, but there are people that but want you. They don't you, know they're doing it. They don't know they're doing it. Yeah, they'd still love you too, but they don't want you to be better than them and subconsciously. Some people will bring you down that way and some people are just like, yeah, it's cool because they can't see what's in your head. But for me, I can see what's in my head. This is, this is what happened personally with me and one of my students they were trying to explain to me what they were their story was about and i'm like yeah that's cool and i don't know if i didn't motivate them or not but and i just couldn't really imagine what they were talking about and it was just words all right they're just going blah 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 and i'm like yeah 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 keep on talking and then they showed me what they were working on a week later and i'm like this is incredible I didn't know that this is what you were talking about. These were your words last week. This is like, this hit me in my heart. And I wish that you could have explained it that way, but you can't explain it. You have to show it through your art and put music in it. Don't lose motivation whenever somebody says, yeah, that's, that's a cool idea or whatever. Cause you, they don't know what's in your flipping head. That's the biggest thing that I would say I would walk away from. The main thing to walk away from is that everybody has their own type of motivation and we've all shared our types of motivation. And if you don't like it, you could probably just shut up. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Knife Mike, knife Mike. <laughs> 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 knife Mike.